Okay, Raw Status TV, I said this last year, the Browns should pick up Deshaun Watson and get rid of Baker Mayfield. Faker may flop, Baker may fumble. This is Raw Status TV, hit that thumbs up. So we're definitely gonna be talking more NFL on this channel. You know, we've been kind of cool on the NFL given the politics surrounding it, but there are some stories worthy of talking, in particular this one with Watson. Now Watson is somebody who you remember last year was mired in all types of suspicious, seemingly phony, alleged allegations, allegedly of sexual misconduct. And now to this year, fast forward 2022, Watson, Deshaun Watson will receive a five-year fully guaranteed $230 million contract from the Browns. This is from Ian Rappaport. And as part of the deal, the quarterback will, will receive a $45 million signing bonus and his base salary for the 2022 season will be $1 million. This was added by Pelissero. So, sounds to me like they're giving him a little bit of extra dough to fight these legal battles because these Instagram prostitutes, I mean Instagram models, will try to sue him. I believe they are suing him. And if you're Baker Mayfield, you had to have seen this coming with the weak season that you've had, the interceptions, the turnovers, the games lost because of your inability to scramble. And he has people in the media writing for him. People like Nick Wright and Shrimp Baseless on FS1. You know, we know how the media works. These players have certain writers and broadcasters that kind of cape for them in exchange for exclusive interviews or tickets to the game, allegedly. But it is funny how they kind of coddle and pamper these white quarterbacks and excuse their sorry play, but... The black quarterback is always kept on a much shorter leash when it comes to the media and criticism. They try to mask it and they try to disguise it. As a matter of fact, they do a very good job of it as of late, acting like they're objective, a little bit more patient with the black quarterback. But you still see the same excuse making for bad play that you did 20 years ago as you do now. Going to read a little bit more. So this is looking like a pretty good deal for the Browns. The Browns give up three first round draft picks for 2023 and a 2024 fourth rounder for Deshaun Watson. Watson was looking at other teams like the Saints, like the Falcons, like the Panthers, chose the Browns. The Browns are coming off nicely on this after just adding Amari Cooper with a pretty damn good running game. So the Browns have come up in this. And Watson has come up. And Baker Mayfield is now looking for a team. People are hearing Seattle and Indianapolis is where he wants to go. But the Browns have made it clear that they're not necessarily looking to accommodate him. If I'm the Browns, I hold out and see what I can get. And you may be able to get something good. So let me know what you think. Deshaun Watson to the Browns, a shocker, but not unexpected. Again, I called this last year. So it is funny how Baker Mayfield is one of these white quarterbacks that they just kind of sort of usher in. To invincibility why do you want to trade him because he has stunk up the joint this year he was horrible he did not pass the ball to obj i believe that had something to do with it the browns are looking at the l that they took with the odell beckham jr trade and this man winning the super bowl and they're like hold on what's the common denominator baker mayfield hot garbage and they're, get, they're getting rid of the hot garbage and they're bringing, they're bringing in 